Hi guys, my name is Bumpa, and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to properly place smoke characters in Valorant. Smoke characters are a 100% must pick for any team. Um, you either need to have a Brim or an Omen. I know that Viper is also considered a smoke character, but in my opinion her toolkit is not versatile enough in order to warrant her as having being the only smoke character on your team. So she better fills the role as sort of a flex character. Um, so um, depending on what map you're playing will decide what smoke character you're playing. On Bind, you should 100% take Brimstone over Omen on Bind. Omen is not very good on Bind as a solo smoke character. Uh, being, uh, being able to execute on A is right much here. better with Brim. Um, if you play an Omen on Bind, the only really viable site is B site um, because you can only get like an elbow smoke right off, here, and then your CT smoke right will be late. So Bind, you want to play Brim. Uh, Haven, Split, and uh, I would say Haven is an Omen map, and then Split and Ascent are sort of 50-50. Split, you can play Brim uh, if you prefer Brim. His ult is very good for Rope Room. Um, and Ascent, Brim's ult has some pretty good uses as well, but both maps as well can uh, sort of flex Omen. Omen is good on both as well. So it sort of depends on what type of team you are. If you're an Execute style team, uh, that plays for post plant brim would probably favor you if you're like a default style player like you want to play the map slow work picks omen will probably work better for you uh, because of his extra smokes so how do you actually play the smoke character so on bind it's pretty necessary to hold on to two smokes for the execute bind is a very execute heavy map uh, it's very hard for the T's to hold map control at both A and B. So most of the time you just send most of your players towards one bomb site you execute it on and you take the fight. Um, so you have one smoke on bind to use for your map control. Some teams will smoke off the end of hookah and then clear out hookah with their utility. But they smoke off the end of hookah so that they don't get picked by an opper who is playing on top right of here. here. So this will be like the one smoke that right you here. lend towards your default uh, while you're defaulting. And then your other two smokes you'll save for the execute. Now, something that's very, very important is your smoke placement, okay? When you are playing, th let's use bind for an example. Something that I see a lot of new players do that is not very good is they will smoke left and right side sight. Smoke's down. And you guys might think, well, why isn't this good? This, this, uh... This gets you control of the site. Um, it makes it so you can plant. But what ends up happening is, is a lot of the times the enemy team will just use these smokes to their advantage to cause or and take advantage of the confusion that these smokes create. And they will lurk in the smokes and get free picks on your teammates. And it makes trading the site a lot harder than it needs to be. You don't need your smokes to clear out all of this part of site. Your other utility should be used to clear out the site. If you have a Molotov, you can molly here. Right here. If you have raised nades, you can nade back right site, here. or you can bounce a nade right off this uh, double box and it lands in two. So your smokes when you're executing on B should be at the extremities, the entry points. You want it at elbow and CT. So anytime you execute B, you want to throw your smokes for elbow and CT. The closest that you can be in order to smoke elbows and T, you can do it safely from here. You can smoke CT and elbow from Smoke's here. Down. Or if you're going long, you can have something that a lot of teams will do is they'll have their Cypher throw a camera. Right here. Camera clears long, then the Cypher, while he's running up, he'll throw his cage right here. right here. He'll activate the cage, and then the brim will cross in this corner, and you can smoke elbow and CT from Smoke's this corner. Down. So, el so making sure that you're smoking the extremities when you're executing on a B-bomb site so that you're able to actually get into the site and trade kills rather than giving the right enemy here. team smokes to play around. Now, there is one use where these smokes are good in the site. If you're on eco and you just want to get a cheeky fast plant for some extra cash, you can throw these right smokes here. and try and get a bomb plant and try and actually take advantage of the confusion that it causes um, and forcing more close range fights. because. If you right here. smoke here and here, then you guys get the bomb down. Then you your pit you close or you cut the height, sight in half, and you can close the distance with your pistols and get in their face and use your clip your pistols at their most effective range, which is close quarters. Which is why it's also very bad to smoke right here, here and here when you're playing against a team that's on eco, right? 
because if they have pistols and not rifles and you smoke into the site, you give them a free way to get into sight and to get close to you where their pistols are at their maximum effective range. For A, everybody knows the A smokes. It's all about just smoking tank in front sight. A lot of people are starting to counter wall strats now um, with raise is utility and delaying plants and playing retake on A. Um, so a lot of better teams are starting to uh, do more like open sight smokes where they'll have like one on tank and then smoke right down. there and they'll, they'll smoke like this so that they have more control of the area and then they'll like wall right here, here instead just so that it gives them a greater space to plant and gives them more control of the site. Uh, but at lower ranks, the tank and front sight right smoke here. will do. So let's quickly talk about a omen favored map. A I map that fight. favors a more default style play style. Um, so when you are playing omen on this map, most of the time, when you're playing this map, most of the time on attacking side, you're going to be using your smokes for map control. Um, whether that be smoking Cover top B out. or smoking top C. Cover going out. The reason why it's good to smoke yourself off at top C and top B is because these long sight lines are heavily favored by ops. And these smokes are used to gain information, or, or to deny information, actually. To deny information from the other team so that they're not able to just look down long C and know whether or not you're there um, and sniff out a rush to the other site. So like if you don't smoke top C and they're just posted on C with an op and they see nothing, nobody sees anything garage, nobody sees anything B, well you have to be A. So you use your smokes on Omen to sort of deny map info for the other team um, and then you just take advantage of the fact that Omen has constant rotating uh, regenerative smokes that after you've gained your map control you use the extra smoke that you have to smoke off one key point um, so per se so let's say you're taking C after map control say you're gonna do like a C pop Shadows traveling. you smoke top C you walk up C you get close here you say okay I'm gonna smoke CT and then I'm gonna flash for you guys Shadows so you traveling. use your one smoke that you Stay have to smoke off CT, it's really just picking which choke point you're more you don't want them to come out of more. Um, maybe smoking garage would be better, and then like you can run out and take the fight at CT. Sage can run up and wall it. Um, but most of the time when you're playing Omen, you have to accept the fact that you're going to only have one smoke for your execute onto whichever site you uh, hit. So the way that Omen's best taken advantage of is playing a more slow uh, pick-oriented default style or play style where you work map control, you work a pick, and then you group and pop on something. Um, so at C, you either choose to smoke Garage or CT with your one smoke that's left. And at A, you should pretty much always Here. smoke Heaven. Um, or if you know that they've been playing an op at CT a lot, you can smoke CT. Um, if you know that they've been opping there, I would highly recommend smoking over here rather than deep because then like somebody will peek outside of the smoke, take a shot, and then run back into it. So like smoking Cover here will deny the person from peeking out of CT and shooting at somebody coming up short. But like we talked about on bind, you got to make sure that you're smoking in the uh, entryways, right? You want to use the smokes to cut rotations rather than to cut off the bomb site. This game has so much utility like sova darts, uh, boom bots, uh, owl drones, stuff like that, that can clear the site for you, that you don't need these, uh, you don't need these Shadows site smokes. This is, these are two pretty Shadows popular, traveling. like we talked about on Bind, a lot of people smoke like this and just expect you to run up and plant. But these smokes give the other team the advantage and it delays you from getting picks on them. It buys more time for the other for their teammates to rotate and it denies you from pushing into back sight and getting full sight control. Because if you have yourself smoked off like this and like this, 
then when you do get into sight, you can't really swing back sight without with no information. You don't know who's back here. You could get peeked from a guy's CT. You could get peeked from a guy who's still hiding behind the smoke's back sight. So make sure whenever you are entering a bomb site and you're playing a smoke character, you're smoking off the extremities and you're letting your other util clear the rest of sight, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you understand why you have been smoking in the incorrect spots. Um, and hopefully this gives you a deeper understanding into how to play these controller smoke type characters in Valorant. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to watch me play live, I stream daily on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bumpa. Go ahead and check me out there. If you have any more questions, you can always ask me there. I'm happy to answer. All right, guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.